Hi guys, today we're going to continue working with setting and comparing and contrasting, but we're only going to focus on the contrasting parts. We're looking for differences today between the settings of two different stories, okay? So, first we need to remember what is contrasting. Um, contrasting, remember, is when we're focusing on the differences. Contrasting means focus on the differences. So we're looking for the differences between two or more things. We're gonna use a T-chart to help you contrast. So do me a favor, just pause right now and make a T-chart on a paper. So pause my video, make a T-chart. Come up with some differences between ELA and science. Again, you're looking for the differences. I'm gonna go ahead and give you just a second to get a piece of paper and do this and we'll try and talk our way through it. So what you're gonna do is just look for the differences between ELA, okay? So maybe in ELA, we read a lot more books, where in science, we do experiments, okay? ELA, you have Mrs. Nugent for your teacher, but in science, you have Mrs. Landgrave, okay? So think of some differences. So we aren't looking for similarities, just differences. As we look through this today, we're gonna to be looking at the setting. But please remember that setting is time and place, right? I made you guys say that a lot this week in class. So don't forget that setting is the when and the where that a story takes place. Don't forget the time, okay? So as we look at contrasting our settings, we're gonna think, are the time periods different? Are the locations different? Is the environment different at all, okay? Those are the things we're really going to focus on. We're gonna practice. I'm actually going to post two videos, um, two more videos underneath this on Buzz. One will be the, um, a movie trailer for Cinderella, the movie, Disney Cinderella. The other one will be one for Cinderella Story. Okay, I want you to watch both. I want you to make a T-chart and really think about the differences between those videos. So go ahead and pause this and go and open those and look for those differences, okay? You're going to want to make a T-chart that looks like this. Put Cinderella on one side and a Cinderella Story on the other, okay? And we're gonna look for those differences. All right, again, our focus today is the differences. How are they different? How's the time period different? How's the location different? How's the environment different, okay? So some things that you might put are things like the Cinderella, the Disney one, it happened in the past. It happened in a magical land where there was actually magic. Cinderella went to an actual ball. Some other things that I noticed about the environment were um, her parents were mentioned in it a little bit, but now she obviously does live with her stepmother. It's the same thing in the Cinderella story. Though. So remember, we are looking for differences. Uh, a Cinderella story takes place in Los Angeles. It takes place in modern day because we, we see the technology and things. Also, they're at a school a lot. They're at a football game, okay? There is no ball. She goes to a dance instead. Those are some of our differences, okay? Use the T-chart to map out what differences you see. Your show it today. What you're going to do is you're going to read The Boy Who Cried Wolf, it's posted on the show it, and The Man, The Boy, The Donkey. And you're gonna look at those settings and think, hmm, how are they different? Don't give me similarities, only tell me differences. And I want five specific differences. So think about the time period, the location, and the environment. How are these stories different? But focus on the setting, okay? If you have any questions, please let me know.